And of what I earn goes towards my uh, student account, goes towards paying my fees, my student fees. And I haven't received anything, so I can't pay anything. This computer lab assistant is among the group that's yet to be paid for the month of April. She says she's been part of the work study program for almost three years now and it's only recently that payments became erratic. The 24th came and went and I still haven't been paid. No one has been paid. So I don't know what's... They've, they're very relaxed about it, the nonchalant, the university. Another affected student is this anthropology tutor. He says he cannot afford transport to the university and that they considered downing tools but felt they couldn't abandon students who would be writing exams soon. We do want to help our fellow students because we were all first and second years and it's, it's tough being new, being new to the space and new to the work and in not even having the guidance or the people that is employed to help you. So we, we, we have considered it, but obviously we don't want to be that cruel to our fellow students. He blames the university for the problems. We tutor about of close to 80 students. So we have to mark all of those 80 students and we have to consult and teach all of them on a week to week basis. So most of us work close to like a nine to five job. It's worse considering that we don't even get these payments on time because we get told to fill in our claims forms like 15 or 20 days beforehand. The university says it's aware of the glitch but denies claims that the problem goes back as far as 2021. We moved over to a new system of payment and there have been glitches which are now currently in the process of being resolved. Um, students should get notifications of payments and it's a problem, unfortunately, that's carried on from March to now. Um, there's about 1,200 give or take students affected. And we completely understand the students' unhappiness and their anger about this. And we want to apologize to all the students. The institution says that as investigations are continuing, it cannot say whether it will stop using the service provider. Nabesutu Echana in Cape Town.